Whole Foods and back at Walmart grocery pickup and the meal plan this week. Work it, make it, do it, makes us harder, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. I've got a weekly grocery haul for y'all from Whole Foods and from Walmart. We haven't went to Walmart in a hot second, but I didn't feel like going to Whole Foods twice this week. You'll see in the video. So we did an online grocery pickup and I have to say it was easy peasy. Substitutions were great. No complaints at all. We got what we needed. Um, essentials and we're going to talk about the ingredients on things, kid friendly foods and the meal plan this week. Whole Foods prior to storm coming this way grocery haul and we spent $112. Look at that savings, almost $23 in savings with the prime deals. That's incredible. And I have a little Thrive Market box that came in today as well. So let me show you what we got. So we're a little bit early here, but these are some things that I needed right now to make sure we had on hand. They had their raspberries on sale for $3 plus an additional 10%. So that's a crazy deal on raspberries for the organic. So I got two for me because I am out from my last haul. I've been eating them like crazy. Eat the damn berries. Speaking of, I got some organic strawberries. They were $4.99. I thought that was a pretty good price. Not on a prime deal, just their regular price. And I have a breakfast video that's going to be coming to you guys for Trey, which is going to have some keto breakfast items. If you're keto or some just gluten-free, healthier, made from scratch breakfast items. And I needed strawberries for that for him. And I will eat on them as well. Speaking of those recipes, they have a recipe with some bananas in there for him. So I got some that are going to be going pretty soon and also some green ones y'all know I like them to stay a little bit on hand now with the pasture raised vital farms eggs these are on a prime deal I think they're eight dollars and then there's an additional 10 percent I know that's hella expensive but if you go to vitalfarms.com there is a two dollar off any of their pasture raised eggs so I opted to get these versus to get just the regular ones because they were pretty close to the regular ones price and just, you know, go a little bougie, okay? But they do have these at Sam's Club, not the organic, but the pasture raised, and I really like those, but check and get that coupon because you can use the coupon at Whole Foods. I did get a package of the organic baby spinach. It's a buck 99 at Whole Foods. This is such a great price. You don't get as much, but this stuff lasts forever, and they've changed the packaging. Look at Whole Foods getting all cutesy. 365 Whole Foods Organic Cream Cheese. I'm opting to get as much organic dairy because it's not fed GMO corn. So just trying to do a little bit better where we can. It's not much more expensive than Philadelphia at Whole Foods for their organic brand. So I got those for the breakfast recipe and Trey's Keto Queso. I am here for the honey crisp apples that are in season right now for my carb up days. And I skipped a carb up day last week, so I'm looking forward to eating some apples this weekend. And these have just been so delicious in season right now. They're organic grapes, $1.99 on a prime deal. Such a killer price for these. So I went ahead and got a big package of the green. My kids go back and forth from liking the red to the green. Really doesn't matter to me. They're getting a whole foods clean carbohydrate. So if I can pump fruit in them versus anything processed, that's what I do. Now this is something new I have not seen at Whole Foods, but all of this brand, the Kelowna Supernatural brand, they have whole milk, they have skim milk, you know, half and half everything was on a prime deal, I guess, because it's new. But this is the organic whipping cream. So for my keto peeps, this was such a great deal for 32 ounces. You get a ton in here for the price. And there are the macros right there. And the ingredients is just cream. There's no carrageen. There's nothing else. A certified organic grade A cream. Yes, indeed. Let's go. That was amazing. I did not get that for myself. I got that for the recipes for Trey's breakfast items. And wow, what a killer price on that. I got some egg whites for me. This is the Whole Foods brand, the organic ones. They are expensive as hell, but I try to get the organic egg whites when possible when doing that. Last week, if you watched that grocery haul, they were out of the vanilla nut pods creamer. They had it. It's full price. That pains me too, but this stuff is a necessity for me. Also a necessity, you all know I pick up one or two bags every time I go. They were fully stocked this time. $2.99. Pilaf style, rice, cauliflower, garlic, herb, and extra virgin olive oil. This stuff is fire. Add a little salt. If that, it is amazing with side dishes for Taco Tuesday. Love it. Now I got a bunch of cheeses. All right, so I am slowly incorporating 
some cheese back in my life with no lactose. I'm finding that the lactose free or the low lactose cheeses are not affecting me. So that's leading me to believe I have a lactose problem because when I went gung ho with the mozzarella, we had a big reaction and that's really high on the lactose scale. So I did get their in house. This is a Whole Foods 24 month raw Parmesan Reggiano raw milk age 60 days or more Parmesan cheese. So I got a little $6 block of that. Doesn't that look amazing? They had all kinds of different blocks, even down to $3 if you wanted to get a little one just for a particular recipe. So I thought that was awesome. I have bought this before, but I don't think I got the sharp cheddar, but I got the organic raw sharp cheddar. And this is the organic Valley. This is grass fed, no green grass milk cheese. It is so little guys for $7.99. Don't come for me. I know I got this for Trey. This is the Rumiano organic mozzarella cheese. They also had this in the sharp, but I thought this one was better. And I got this for recipes for him too, for some like fathead dough, cinnamon rolls and stuff like that. Again, trying to do the best that I can with the dairy. Speaking of another one of the recipes I want to try a lot of the recipes actually call for a lot of plain Greek yogurt for him. And I got the stony field green Greek organic 100% grass fed plain Greek yogurt. So for my keto peeps, it is seven total carbs, zero fiber, and that is for three fourths of a cup, which is 170 grams. So this is definitely doable if you are doing keto, you don't have to eat that whole serving. And it's just cultured pasteurized grass fed organic whole milk. So this is definitely better than the FIA 5% guys. If you're looking for something, I've never tasted it personally, but I know it's going to be great for recipes. This was still on a prime deal. And yes, I went crazy on them last week, but I have not had one and the hubbies almost went through a box. I'm telling y'all the boys cannot keep their hands off of these. And for the price right now, I'm stocking up until they are not on a prime deal. Four bars for like $4. So they're like a dollar a bar, which is not bad. So delicious, dairy-free dipped vanilla bean coconut milk bars. Make sure you get the one that has a little stamp that said new delicious recipe. These are one net carb with their new recipe and I can vouch they're delicious and even the boys love them. Now, Trey is not keto guys, but I try to do as much low sugar, gluten-free and he likes a lot of keto stuff, but a lot of those breakfast recipes are calling for rolled oats and specifically gluten-free, which I appreciate with him. And you want to get organic. So I got the Bob's Red Mill gluten-free organic old fashioned rolled oats for those breakfast recipes for him. This was on a prime deal. So it's 32 ounces for a killer price that I got. And the only ingredients on this organic whole grain oats. That's going to be great for him um, with getting a little extra protein in him and some calories in the mornings if he likes those specific recipes. I did get some local raw honey. Again, for those breakfast recipes, they call for a little bit of honey in some of them. And this is amazing. 100% pure. You want to get local honey if you're going to buy it. Don't get anything in that little bear crap. That stuff is garbage. It's like diluted with all kinds of other crap from China don't do it. Um, Whole Foods, I appreciate they have little stickers that say local. And if you look at this, guys, it is made from West Wego, Louisiana. Let's go. It is totally, um, you can tell, it is totally raw and great. This was $10, so a little bit pricey for 17 ounces, but worth it because even some of those crappy bear wins are almost the same price, and that is not even real honey. So get your real honey in your life if you are um, in the need for it. Definitely pick that out. We got the Lily's bars are still $2.70 a bar. Let's go. I was looking for this one last week. It was out of stock, so I got it. This one is nice, guys, because it's just unsweetened cocoa, erythritol, stevia, extract, vanilla extract. It doesn't have a lot of other fillers that the Lily's bars have. It is 92% cocoa. I've never tried this one, but I like dark chocolate, so that one looks good. And I got the hazelnut milk chocolate for the hubby. He does like that one. They were out of the caramel milk, which is our favorite, both of us. The boys love these organic mini sandwich peanut butter crackers and I opt for the peanut butter versus the cheese because of the protein factor. I just think it's a little bit better. I do feel like these ingredients are a little bit better than the Trader Joe's ones that I showcased. I really do think so. Are they the best of the best? Absolutely not. Are they better than Ritz? 100%. So definitely choose this option for your kids versus any of that other name brand stuff. Now the Siete was on a prime deal as well. They were two for $6, so $3 a bag plus an additional 10%. Plus there is a dollar cash back. I bought a rebate. So this made this for a killer deal. And Trey has been loving the ranch wins and these are dairy free. So if you're not strictly just keto or if you're doing a carb up day, you can do these if you're dairy free is what I'm trying to say. 
The ingredients on Siete stuff is the cleanest of the clean. Look at these ingredients. I love Siete brand so, so much. They are fire, and I cannot wait for these big bags to get to my Sam's Club like I see y'all showing. So that's everything we got for the price that you saw at Whole Foods, and not bad at all. Let's see what we got in my Thrive box. Now, they had an awesome promo for 20 to 25% off. If I bought something like within 24 hours and made an order, plus I had $10 in Thrive Cash just from placing past orders, they tend to do that, guys. Put Thrive Cash in your account that you can use for future orders. And if you refer anybody, then you can get up to $25 off, which all I, all I had was the $10 off, and I utilized that extra 20%. So everything that you see here was just $30, which doesn't seem like a lot for $30, bucks, but when you're looking at the items I got, it definitely is because of the Lacanto. So monk fruit sweetener the golden is my favorite i use it for everything even when it just calls for granular i put the golden in there you might not supposed to do that but i love it so i got two pounds of it guys again thirty dollars this stuff is like so expensive this stuff is like eight dollars a package usually so i really wanted to utilize the 20 percent on that because we actually needed it I am out of the Epic Uncured Bacon Bits. These are like $6 a piece usually, the Hickory Smoked. I love these because they're zero carb, they are gluten-free, and there's no hidden dextrose in them. And they are like really, like those look pretty fine. But the last package I got, they're like really big chunks of bacon in there. I am completely out of onion powder, so I got the Organic Thrive Market one. This one is... 2.24 ounces, and I'm just gonna add it to my container that is empty, I saved it. Now, everybody talks about these Thrive Market grain-free taco shells, they're non-GMO. You get 12 in here, and the ingredients on them are just cassava flour, avocado oil, chia seeds, and sesame seeds. So if you're doing a carb up day, or if you're just a low carb and you want clean ingredients, this is a good option because two shells is 17 net carbs. For a carb up day, that's pretty good. And I don't know about y'all, but I miss like a crunchy taco shell. Our 90 second cheese shells on keto can definitely do it, but being that I haven't been going ape on cheese, this has not been affecting me. Cassava flour, almond flour, all that good stuff has been good to a girl's gut. So that's gonna be saved for a taco night on a carb up day. Primal Kitchen Ketchup, the organic unsweetened Sweeten, we have not tried and y'all know I love their products so I wanted to get this this is definitely keto friendly it is one net carb for one tablespoon so I got this because it doesn't have any dairy in it a lot of your keto ketchups actually have a little bit of dairy in them and then also got this for the boys to see if they would like it versus the one that I have on hand that is not as good there's the ingredients that are super clean take a screenshot and again utilizing that awesome 20% off deal they had going always check Thrive Market never buy anything full price they're constantly doing like keto deals paleo deals are giving you an extra 20% Thrive Cash really utilize on their awesome savings. The Noble Maid brand, I love their buffalo sauce for my wings. This is the coarse Dijon mustard. This was a new item. They give you a little alerts when they get new items in at Thrive Market too. It's made without a white wine, it says. Whole 30, gluten-free. And the macros on it are right here. It is one net carb for one teaspoon. Ingredients, water, distilled vinegar, cracked mustard seeds, salt, mustard, bran, citric acid, and turmeric. I got this for some, like, maybe some deviled eggs or something. I don't know. But I love, like, a coarse ground mustard. And a lot of them aren't the best. So this one looked pretty clean to me. And it's pretty good in size. Dang, eight and a half ounces. Now, look at the Siete from earlier. And then we've got these from Thrive. I, these are $3.99 on their website, and being that I was getting that 20% off plus the $10, it was worth it to me. The boys love these, and I like having this as a good clean option for them. Also, everybody raves about this native forest unsweetened organic coconut milk, and they have been out of stock on Thrive for a long time. And this one doesn't have guar gum, just like the Trader Joe's ones, but y'all know Trader Joe's until that new one opens by me is pretty far. So I went ahead and got this delivered, and for the price, it was pretty good. Ingredients, just organic coconut milk and and organic coconut filtered water, two net carbs for a third of a cup. So I got that phrase recipe requires that and being mostly dairy free now. I like using that for recipes. That's my little Thrive $30 haul guys. Again, always check down below. I have a link for Thrive that will get you 25% off your order today if you have not ordered. So go and check that out right now and save it. Instead of time. doing another Whole Foods order, we did the online grocery pickup from Walmart. We haven't been to Walmart in a hot second and I just want to go ahead and do something simple instead of driving 
Whole Foods is the opposite way of where I was going today. So I had a bunch of substitutions, but they were not bad at all. And just one thing that is, was out of stock, which was the sliced apples I've been buying from Walmart. So I got some blackberries. This is a 12 ounce one. I wanted two of the organic ones, but they were out. So they subbed me for the conventional, which is totally fine. And these are for Trey for his lunches. He is obsessed with blackberries and grapes are his fruit of choice. Got some bananas for myself and for Waylon. And what I appreciate is that they gave me green bananas. If you watch the grocery hauls, you know, I always say, I wish they'd give me green bananas so they last. And they did. So happy with that. I got this massive red onion. I don't even know about this thing. This is like way more than I need for a recipe. So I might cut it up and freeze it. So that way it lasts the next time I need it for a recipe instead of it going to waste. This was a substitution. I wanted just a big block of the Cabot sharp cheddar. This one guys is naturally lactose free as you see there from my people that are lactose intolerant or if you're doing dairy free but want to incorporate some low lactose or zero lactose cheese back into your diet which is what I'm doing. This is a good brand and one of you guys told me about it so thank you so much. So I got four of them instead of the big block. They subbed me four of the little eight ounce ones of the seriously sharp cheddar cheese by Cabot and I am making some macaroni and cheese this week with with some of the nature's our natural heaven pasta replacement. So I needed some more cheese. I have some, but not enough. So looking forward to trying that out. This sounds delicious. I got some sour cream. I am going to be incorporating sour cream back in my diet. What I like about Daisy guys, while I was looking at some of the organic ones at Whole Foods, this one is just ingredients, cultured cream. That's it. When you look at the organic ones, they've got some gums in them and some other crappy stuff in them. So I'm like, why am I, why am I doing that when they're higher in carb? Cause you're adding all the preservatives and the fillers to them when I can just get straight up cream. Now I'm going to incorporate this back slowly. Um, I'm not going to go crazy with it because of me being on dairy free for a long time. That might affect me, but I'm going to slowly get it back. But that was just really interesting to me. So not everything organic um, might be the best, but we want to do organic when doing dairy free because it's fed non-GMO feed when you're talking about the cows and stuff. However, I thought that was kind of mind blowing. I did get some of the Siete almond flour tortillas. The, they do sell these in the cassava ones at your Walmart in the frozen section. They keep these frozen there and they are a little bit cheaper than at Whole Foods. They're still pricey. It's like $7.96 for eight of these. So about a dollar a tortilla, which is pretty crazy. But guys, the ingredients on these are next level. Now they're definitely not like super keto friendly, but they are 16 net carbs for two tortillas. So it's eight net carbs for a tortilla, which is pretty high. But these, I've tried the 365 Whole Foods brand and they are fire. I think they're a little bit less carbs too, and they are so good. But the ingredients on here are next level. As you see here, these are paleo more than keto, but if you can fit it in your macros, definitely. And they are the cleanest of the clean tortilla replacement. I've had a lot of y'all ask me what's a good keto tortilla and there's none. Like all the mission wins and stuff are loaded with horrible oils and the worst of the worst. So I would save my carbs and go with this versus all those zero net carb breads and tortillas any day. Also got some blue cheese by market side. This is like a little wedge. Let's go. And I've been eating blue cheese the past couple weeks. It is um, low in lactose and I love blue cheese. So I'm happy to have that back in my life and I needed a little bit more and they were out of stock of a lot of them. So I just got that one until I can get the organic one at Whole Foods. I really enjoy. Trey enjoys his keto queso. Y'all know we always get the Land of Lakes white American cheese or any white American cheese I can find about a pound and a quarter for that recipe. I got some chicken nuggets, the Earth's best, and these are the breaded, fully cooked chicken nuggets, no antibiotics, blah, blah, blah. I wanted to get the Applegate ones, but they were sold out at my store, and I haven't found the ones I like at Whole Foods. Whole Foods is like changing up the things, and they're not like stocking the things that I like, and they're replacing them with new things. I'm not about it, but I got those. Those are the next best ones that I've been getting for Waylon, and he does like them. This was a substitution, one of them anyway. I put the patties and also put the links, but they subbed me for two patties, which is totally fine. I love these Butterball All Natural Turkey Breakfast Sausages. Now they do have a little bit of dextrose in them or a little bit of sugar, it says, less than 2%, but it doesn't show up as a carbohydrate. There are your macros right there, which are spot on keto macros. They taste delicious in my opinion. I really like these. They would be next level if they didn't put the sugar in there. I do like the Applegate Sage Chicken ones, the no sugar, but now I can't find those either. So these are the next best ones because guys, even the Applegate ones, 
check. They all have dextrose and sugar in the Applegate ones too. So don't pay that bougie price for the same exact thing. And these are about $4 a pack at my Walmart. I love these Bumblebee Wild Caught Tuna Cracked Pepper and Sea Salt Pouches. It's 14 grams of protein per pouch, half a gram of fat, 60 calories, and the ingredients are just tuna, water, sea salt, cracked black pepper. If you look at these pouches, even like your regular, like Star Kissed, regular plain one in water, it's got cruddy oils in it. They all do. This is the only one I have found in a pouch that is just tuna, salt, and pepper, and no oils and crappy stuff and it's a buck and it comes with a little spork which is so freaking cool I had this when I went to the airport and it was so convenient instead of like being savage with my fingers or trying to find a spoon at the airport so I appreciated that and I love these for like a protein boost like if I need something with just protein and not fat y'all ask me that all the time what are things I can eat that are high in protein but no fat here you go tuna fish is your best option and that is a great one some peanut butter the crazy Richards I I used to buy this all the time. This is a great option at Walmart. It's not organic, but that's okay. We'll do what we got to do. 100% peanuts. It is just peanuts. There's not even any salt in here. There's no cruddy oils. There are your macros right there. It is spot on. I've been making a lot of dishes for Trey for breakfast and for lunch for his school lunches, and it involves peanut butter. So I'm almost out even though I just bought one. So I got one of those. That's a good option, guys. If you're at Walmart, pick that one up versus any other ones. Like some of those other expensive ones, like the Maranatha and all that, cruddy oils. This one is less than three bucks, and it's spot on. This is a new find. I showcased this on my Instagram page. So definitely follow me over there because you see things in real time, and I post like new items items at the store or deals all the time that I don't always showcase here in the videos. This is a Nestle Pure Life Fruity Water, the Tropical Twist. Zero sugar sweeteners, colors are preservatives, purified water and electrolytes for taste. And you get eight of them in there with paper little straws. How cute is that? And it is zero everything. It doesn't contain any juice, but it does have the following. Purified water, less than 5% of natural flavors. If you're against natural flavors, you're not going to like this. Mineral blend, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride, sodium bicarbonate. So that's your electrolytes there. So I got these for the boys. Uh, this is a good option. They're a little bit cheaper than the Zevias, the kids Zevias that I get from Target. And I just like to stick these in the fridge outside because if they're not drinking their monk fruit celestial tea blend that I make in the fridge, they'll grab this. And this is a quick option for mama. Girl, all this good stuff. And then you got this. What the actual heck is going on here? 92 cents for the Great Value Pumpkin Spice Marshmallows. And they are shaped like little pumpkins. How freaking cute is that? I've bought these before, before keto, I'm pretty sure. And I got these because I've, I've, I've mentioned we are going camping for Halloween. And I usually save the bag of marshmallows that we have for every camping trip. So I don't have to buy them often because we don't eat them at home at all because it's just pure sugar. But we're out. We, we ran out on our last trip. And I thought these would be so cute for Halloween. Why not? They also have some little ghost shape one that are regular white marshmallows, but they were out of stock. That's the ones I really wanted, but I know they'll like these. It's just pure sugar and it tastes like pumpkin spice. They're not going to turn that down. That's everything we got from Walmart grocery pickup for $64. I've been missing the meal plan and I wanted to make sure to incorporate it. So for Monday tonight, actually when I'm filming, I'm going to be making a Dak Keto Lady just launched her new cookbook. I will have a link down below. Y'all know I love her original one and she's actually one of my best keto friends. I'm making her hamburger steak and her macaroni and cheese. I'm testing this out for Thanksgiving, so I'm hoping it's good. And green beans on the side. Tuesday for Taco Tuesday, we're doing enchilada casserole. This is a pin recipe that looks amazing. I cannot wait to try it with some of that cauli rice from Whole Foods that we love so much. I'm gonna sprinkle the Trader Joe's cashew dressing that I hold on top of it because it's so good for Mexican style dishes, guys. It's got a lot of spice to it. Wednesday, we're doing beef and broccoli. This is also a recipe from a Dakita Lady's new cookbook with a side salad. Thursday is bacon, brown sugar, chicken thighs. I am going to be trying something myself, and if it comes out good, I'll definitely film it for a future video for y'all because it looks delicious as far as what I have in mind. It's an old recipe prior to keto that I'm kind of tweaking to make keto-fied that we used to love big time. Kali mash and a side salad. Friday is steak night. Last week was supposed to be steak night, but we did Brenner instead. If you follow me on Instagram, you can see everything on real time because I post all my food pics there as well, and it was amazing. We 
we did my fluffy pancake recipe with eggs and bacon. It was so good. So I'm bumping steak night to this week with green beans and a side salad. If you're new here, Saturday and Sunday for that matter, a lot of things, we use leftovers in the fridge because we don't like to waste. So anything that I have made for dinner or for lunches or prepped, we eat up on Saturday. For Sunday, we're gonna be doing Hawaiian barbecue chicken tacos with those Siete tortillas that you saw me haul. This is for my carb up day, so this is not keto. This is definitely carbalicious, but good, clean, healthy carbs. Breakfast, we are doing the same thing. I'm sure a lot of y'all are tired of seeing this on the vlogs. Eggs, bacon, avocado, the just made keto muffins, and then berries. This week, October 12th through the 18th, is the clean keto challenge that I have going on, and her muffins are definitely, in my opinion, clean keto, the best of the best ingredients, and everything else I'm eating with it is spot on as well. And I'm just really enjoying that, so I'm having that every day for breakfast. Don't come for me. Lunch, I made and prepped some of my blue cheese deviled eggs. Those are showcased in my e-cookbook, which I have linked down below. So good, guys. And I'm making a snack plate with like pepperoni and some different cheeses, some olives, some nuts and stuff on the side and making like a big charcuterie board and having that for lunch. Also a lunch option for me is to just grill up some shrimp, some sausage, some mushrooms and put a fried egg on top. I love simplicity. So good. So filling, high in protein and fat, but delicious, whole foods, clean keto for sure. Snack options, my protein shakes I make with the Equip Protein powder. I always have a discount code link down below for you guys. It's the best of the best ingredients and tasting. Epic bars, y'all know I love. I get from Whole Foods and Target. Granola bars are in my e-cookbook. I prepped some a week ago. I have a bunch left, so I want to make sure to use them up. And they last, guys, they'll last months in the refrigerator, no lie. And you can freeze them too. They're a great freezer prep item. And then boiled eggs as well. So that is the meal plan, October 12th. That's this week's grocery haul and meal plan from Walmart and Whole Foods. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. That helps me out so much. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that notification button, bells, everything lit up down below so you do not miss a future video from me. Thank you all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing day. I hope y'all have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next grocery haul. Bye y'all.